FA Cup semi final part two. One nil to Crystal Palace, the team that have only beaten Norwich, one win in 18 games in the Premier League, dominating that first half. First blood goes to Crystal Palace. Corner, Delaney flicks in, Pileski just nods it in, one nil. Yeah, you could say the defending wasn't great from Watford. No one at the near post. A bit of ball watching. But it's 1-0 to the Eagles. Watford's best chance was Nye... Neon. Sorry, Neon. Bl what a beautiful cross in the box to the near post. A ward. Miss kicks it, but it went out of a corner for a second. I thought he'd scored an OG. But he didn't. Palace dominating proceedings, first of the ball, solid in defence, dominating midfield. They've had the better chances in the final third, but nothing worth mentioning. Watford, they had a nasty injury, Kabui being taken off, and in this place came Mario Suarez. Watford, you know, were going backwards all the time, but they did have a, another good chance. Ben Watson, who scored that winning goal in the cup final for Wigan, to Troy Deeney. And there was Gallo to make it one all, but Wayne Annesi comes off his line and stops the danger. That's how good Crystal Palace have been in the first half. Are Palace going to Wembley? Is it a repeat of the 1990? FA Cup final, you thought I was going to say World Cup final there, didn't you? Well, I didn't, but I did. Could it be third time lucky for Alan Pardew? And what are the Newcastle fans thinking? Oh, never mind that, forget it. Anyway, it's been a good Cup semi-final. Palace looking magnificent in that game, sensational. What happened in the league for they're definitely a team that have put the FA Cup as their priority this season. And it's good for the FA Cup. Come on. The atmosphere at Wembley has been, been oh, mind-blowing. Sonic boom all around Wembley from the Crystal Palace and the Watford fan. Hi. I'm going to leave it there. Second half coming up. It's a repeat of the 90-90 FA Cup final. Between Crystal Palace and Manchester United. Watford came out of the traps in the second half, got back on level terms, a corner in, Troy Deeney, what a play, out muscling Scott Dan and heading head the bowl in to make it 1 1. Now Watford had a chance to win it. Palace would have had to come out just like Watford did, it's 1 1, it's all level. Then just from a basic throw-in, it just played, played back, cross goes in, and there's Connor Wickham just to jump up and nestle it into the bottom corner. Watford could have done something, you know, try anything, jump up, put him off, but they didn't defend again. But what I'm going to give Palace credit for, Troy Denny, what a player. They just didn't let him settle in the game. They didn't give him a chance in the game. He was the danger man. Troy Denny running down, causing Palace all sorts of problems, all of a bit of a mix up. Palace had to do everything to get the ball out. And four Palace plays all in a pile. Four injuries, all Palace plays. You don't see that very often. What about Wilfred Zahar? Has he got pace from a Watford attack? He's won all the way up. Looks like he's going to make it 3-1 the Palace. But Neon, give him credit. He must have been out of breath, but he kept with him. And he made the initial block to keep it 2-1. And, of course, right at the end, it was it Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Have I got his name right this time? Probably not. He scored the winner against Arsenal. Nah, he nearly, nearly, he wasn't that far wide. Nearly made it 2-2. Just hit his 
shot sort of miss hit his volley, hits the ground, just goes wide off the post. But you've got to give credit to Palace. They really defended solid. They got their tactics tactics correct. Sorry, tactics spot on. I mean Troy Deeney. As you can see he's one of he was the danger player on the pitch, but he was kept quiet. Palace defended solid in that second half like they did in the first half. First to the ball, not giving Watford any chances, didn't make any mistakes. And let's face it, the goal Watford did score for the equaliser by Troy Deeney. For me, it's a fantastic header. Absolute strength in the air. And Troy Deeney, he could make the England squad. He could play for a bigger club next season. So if I'm saying that, Watford. Overall, I'm going to say Crystal Palace deserved to win. Because they defended, they were the better defensive team. They got all their tactics correct. So, can they win the FA Cup? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I've got to say, with Crystal Palace, league form, one winning 18, FA Cup form, superb. And all credit to them. I think even the Watford fans will say, well done, Crystal Palace. Unlucky Watford, well done, Crystal Palace. And that was a real proper FA Cup semi-final. Both sets of fans showing utter passion, making loads of noise. The atmosphere at Wembley from both sets of supporters was top class. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll say goodbye and thank you very much.